Howdy. <clears throat> I'm going to do something a little different today because I don't want to be bent over in weird positions and on my back and dealing with wiring harnesses and shit all day. So I'm going to fix this uh, fresh air box a little bit. See if I can't get it to work a little bit better. So I'm learning a lot about why things are the way they are on my current car. The fresh air box had its wires disconnected. Uh, they were just straight up cut. Um, and I think the reason for that is it was probably making a lot of noise and not really doing a whole lot, which is actually extremely common for these things. Like even when they're working correctly, they don't really work that well. You know, it just doesn't really have the CFM. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but it just doesn't move a whole mess of air. But I mean, it's it's a part of the car, it needs to work right. So I'm gonna try and get it to work right. Um, second part is, is that this seal was all messed up. So it was probably leaking water in there and out of the spout, the bottom right there, that guy. Um, when I was doing the rain tray repair, I blew out all the, like, as I had to remove this to get the, the rain tray out, which is another reason why people don't really repair these things because it's such a bear to get it out. Um, but when I was taking it out, um, and I was blowing out all the channels where the, uh, water drained out from this, um, at, back out into the end, the fuel, um, what do you call it? The fuel tank part, like the front trunk underneath the fuel tank. It, there was all sorts of shit in there, so it was probably backing up. And also looking underneath the dash, you can see, like, uh, where this sealed, there's a lot of, like, surface rust. So, this needs to be rectified. There's a few other things that don't really work that well for it. One is that it's noisy as hell. I'm going to see if this old battery I got... Apparently it's got 12... Oops. Apparently it's got 12 volts on it. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this guy to work. It's going to be... A lot easier if I could elongate these, but anyways, Let's see if we can get her to spin. So obviously it works, but it's like hitting up against something. So I don't know what's going on in there as far as like what it's rubbing up against, but it shouldn't sound like that. Uh, and that might have been the reason why the guy just cut it, because it was, there's, it was making that noise, and he just didn't want to deal with it. The other thing I kind of want to work on is these guys right here, which are the fresh air control knobs. And if you'll notice, if you look back around here, where this guy comes in, it doesn't actuate. Actually, this one now is actuated just fine. It wasn't before. But you'll notice that this sleeve right here has movement in it. So the thing is, is that I have to tighten, I don't know if this is a guide or a clamp, I assume it's a clamp. But this guy right here, if I just tighten it up, it won't allow the sleeve to move, which will allow me to actually like open and close the flaps. See, now you can see it's moving. And if you do it quickly, it, hardly moves this actuator at all. It should be like that, allowing it fully to open and allow the fresh air to go to all the different places it needs to. This one has a separate issue, and it's actually... Is this one, how does this one actuate? I don't know what the fuck my dogs are barking at, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one doesn't open up that much either. And I think the reason for this one is that over here, in the front, the actual actuation side, you can see that it doesn't actually, like it's, the, the bit right here is actually broken. So it's allowing tension there, see? It also allows that to happen. So that's the other thing. I gotta, I don't know if I have to actually make new cables to get all that done. I hope not, because these look like they're fairly specific like they have like these little rings at the end of them 
So I'm hoping that it's, I don't have to redo these and maybe there's something else I can do to help these guys out, but I don't know. We'll see. But the main thing is that I want to break this thing open, look at it, um, look at all the seals because there's seals like on the top part of this and everything like that. Um, and then also figure out why the fan was rubbing up against something and figure that guy out too. So step one, remove these clips. Don't lose them. This one is missing one. Okay. Well, I should probably find that, I guess. Two. Three. And there should be a seal underneath this before I actually remove it. Doesn't look like there is. It's getting hung up a little bit over here for some reason. Screwdriver, use my only friend. All right. hung up. Come on now. Got no time for this. Oh shit, this little guy. That little guy just popped off. Don't want to lose him. And this little spring. Oh fuck it. Keep that for now. Alright, why are you not coming out? It's not it's not trying to force plastic too much there, Mike. Budged a little. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, so that one decided to take the flap with it. This one didn't. So, alright, now we got a better look at what's going on underneath here. So, let me just move these guys out of the way. I can deal with them separately. It's a little flappy. Okay, um, there's obviously a seal here that is peeling apart on both sides, so that one's definitely got to that one's definitely got to go or get replaced. So this thing has to be removed somehow, and then we can look at exactly what the hell's going on. Doesn't look like it's actually retained at all. There's no bolts on the other side, so I should just be able to slide it out. Yep. Come on, baby. This is for your own good, I swear. There we go. Cool. So the box is clean. Actually, <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> I don't want to breathe that. I'll clean that out later. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Now let's look at the fan. So obviously, these guys need to be replaced. Um, this, I guess, what it does is it seals up. It obviously seals, but it makes it so. Um, air that's being pushed isn't it like getting lost in the seals like it's actually like being funneled through here like it's supposed to or when it's pushed out sorry because this actually is pushing out both sides there's the fan sounds like it spins all right let's let's put a little power on it see how it sounds so it might just, if it sounds okay, it's probably just because of how it was. 
in the housing itself instead of something actually wrong with it. No. No, it's definitely still rubbing on something, so. All right, how do I take you apart? So there's obviously two Phillips right here. Maybe that's, I don't know. Okay, and then there's clips right there. Well, clips right there, clips right there. So, okay, we can remove this. There's a little clip right there, clips right there. Actually, a lot of clips. All right. Uh, let me take this off. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are disassembled. Wasn't too hard. Um, this is just a, what do you want to call it, a conduit? Yeah, it's nothing crazy going on right there. Here's the meat of it. And this little guy was loose. I don't know if he's supposed to be or not, but he is. Probably is. It wouldn't surprise me if this was what was causing the issues, but... Um... Doesn't look like it's damaged. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so here's the motor. So now it's completely unobstructed. So it shouldn't... And I remove these little screws back here. Don't know why, just because they were screws and they were there. And I wanted to remove them. So I'll just put them back in, because I'm going to test. And just make sure that this actually works. It doesn't make noise. I mean, this really isn't all that difficult. It's just getting to it, you know, because I had to remove fucking everything pretty much under the dash to get it out. But everyone's bitching and moaning like it's such a job. It's really not. It's not it's really not that big a deal. But anyways, let's set this up in a way that it's not gonna rub on anything. Now, let's see. That's how it's supposed to sound. It's supposed to whir, but it's supposed to be, you know, not that fucking loud and shitty. So anyways, let's try again. Hi. It was a good amount of air, if you ask me. Alright, so... Didn't obviously make any noise. So that's good. So what were you rubbing up against? There you're going on... I'm thinking it's this guy. Right here. Also, this is slightly damaged, too. Look at that. There's a little piece of this that was jotting out a little bit. So if the clearance was too tight, this would definitely rub up against it. So, all right, let me remove that. I think what I'm going to end up doing is greasing the fittings, too. If I can actually take this out a little bit more, I will. Um, just because I don't want to... Just because I don't want to come in here and do a job a second time. That's it. So I'm assuming this guy does this. Yeah. Sounds about right. It sounds like this would move around a little bit, but let's just make sure that it...
Okay. Pretty good. Let's try it on high. Okay. So what have I learned? Not much. Um, I really haven't. I kind of want to make sure that this stays in place somehow. You know what I mean? Because I don't... Actually, does it go under? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't sit on top. Because I'm assuming that this guy was rubbing up against this. Because there's not really too much else that this was really interfering with. Like looking at this. Right. It is possible that that thing just like fell out. I don't know if it was hitting on this hound. So I'm looking for witness marks here. It doesn't look like it ever touched this. Actually, there's that right there. There's some witness marks right, right over there, so maybe it was. Hmm. I wonder if it spins like... It spins straight. Sorry, I'm thinking aloud here. Let's take the U off. <clears throat> like I said in my first video, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no experience working on these things, but god damn it, I'm gonna learn. Alright, anyways. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to see if it. Okay, so what I was looking for there is to see if it like if it wobbled at all, but it doesn't. It stays in place, so that's not it. I wonder what else could have caused this uh, this issue here, where you just made a shit ton of noise and no one liked you. The only other thing is, does this have any marks on it? This doesn't have any marks on it either. Like, it doesn't have any marks like it was rubbing up against anything. So I don't know what the fuck it was, man. <sighs> Weird. It's very strange. I can't pinpoint where the noise is coming from. But, the only thing that really makes sense to me... Is this guy came loose? It might have been like up like that or something. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Well, all right, there's still another piece to this, and it's trying to actually get the motor out here so I can, like, service it and, like, lubricate the motor and all that shit. Let's see if I can get it to look a little, or spin a little smoother, because I guarantee you no one's been in here since 1973.
And I gotta take to the, one of my dogs to the vet today, so when I'm out, I'll grab some uh, stuff to put in there. You know, Ace or Home Depot should have something that can work. Alright, buddy, you wanna be difficult? Fine. I'll get the correct tool. Alright, now how do I remove you? I don't know if I do. Whoa. That I don't like. So how the fuck do I take you off? I think I see a... It looks to be like a retaining nut. Or something like, like a push nut. Yeah, let me figure this out. So I just wasn't um, wiggling it enough, so it just literally just popped out. Um, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> like, this little push nut thing, I remove that and this should be able to come out. But, the fuck am I supposed to lube? Like, I'm thinking, like, the inside, right in there. Like, the actual windings. Because, like, looking at, like, a motorcycle stator. You know, like, something like that. Because it looks like it operates in the same sort of way. It's just magnets just resisting each other. You know, the coil versus, um, like, magnets around the, the rim here. And that's just what moves it along. But I would like to... Lube you up, buddy, but I don't know how the fuck to do it. So I'm not gonna. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna tempt fate. There are certain things I know how to do and certain things I don't know how to do. And I want to make sure that I'm not over... Like, I'm definitely overreaching myself trying to do this project, but... I definitely want to make sure that I'm not, um completely getting in over my head. Can I do that right first time? I think so. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna run to Ace. Actually, is there anything else I can still test here? Just wanna make sure it works. Like, I just don't know, man. Like, what else can I do here? It's definitely on there now. Unless I just spray dielectric grease on it for no fucking reason. Could do that. I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to pause for now and I'm going to uh, do something. I don't know. Well, in lieu of doing nothing, put some dielectric grease on there. I don't know if it'll actually do anything or not, but I mean, better than nothing, right? Hope so. Anyway, so I guess I'll start putting it back together. I still don't know what the hell was causing its issues, but I think what I'm going to do, at the very least, is 
this I know this guy goes like that. And it doesn't and I think what I'm gonna do is just try and hold this guy in place a little bit and stop him from moving around too much. I'm pretty sure this like I mean it might have come off or something like that so I'm just gonna get some um, what you call it just a little bit of adhesive and just put it like there there and there and just so that it sort of holds in place a little bit better at the very least do that and then I'll start putting the whole thing back together again theory incorrect or at least I don't think so like, it's back in, and it's rubbing up on this housing somehow, but when you orient it like this, nothing. Orient it like this, like this, perfect, anything other than that. How weird! Like what? What in here moves? Hmm. All right, let's open her back up. Finally found my witness marks, right there on the fan blades. See them? That's what's rubbing. So okay, that's good. So this actually tells me something. So now I have somewhere I can actually look. I don't know if this isn't pressed in far enough or something. Should be though. But good. Now I have somewhere to look. Okay. More detective work has given me this. There's a little bit of play in the I guess I'll call it the impeller, the fan itself. A little bit of play here. Hear that? Push it in, no issue. Push it out, rubby rub. So maybe that's where I should spend my time. It's trying to figure out why it's doing this. I assume there should be some play, but probably not that much. So. This comes off again. Alright, motor's out again. And I found maybe what's causing this to happen. So you can see that there's the movement. But this little guy right here, this nut, uh, this push nut, looks to be off center. Or maybe not on there as far as it needs to be. I'm going to try and push it down a little bit more, see what that does. Okay, I think that's what it was, because this little nut actually had some play in it. So I pushed it down, and it snapped into place. Now there's no more play. It still spins freely. So let's put it back in and see if I didn't just explode the fucking thing somehow. I don't think I did, though. I think I did a good job. I think I figured it out. See, this little shit like this, I love it. Like, it's so pedestrian, but I just, I don't know, man. I just love fixing this little stuff. It, like, centers me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. But I say that without actually confirming that I fixed the issue. So, TBD on my excitement. Sorry, it needs to go in here. There we go.
still, oh fuck, I'm still recording. Shit. Alright, well, where's my... There they are. Hopefully it'll be the last time you guys have to go in here. I guess I was talking about being centered. I guess I centered myself so much I forgot I was on camera. I've anyway, now turned my attention to try and get this we or this um come on now try and get that um cable to free up a little bit I got a little funnel here trying to basically gravity push down um, cable lubricant in there in the hopes that this will eventually free up and I don't have to find a new cable. It looks like it's doing okay, but this is the one where the black piece was sort of separating away from the um, cable itself, causing the, the lid to not open all the way. And I don't know, like it's not looking fantastic. So, not too sure. I don't know. <sighs> so I'm going to run to Ace and get some weather strip stuff for the, what you call it, That's what I'm looking for here, for the, um, the inside seals of this thing. And then there's also another piece that I need, but I don't know where it went. I was hanging around for a little bit. I don't know where it disappeared to. Um, but anyways, it's these uh, they're little like plastic flaps that go right here. And it's sort of like when there's air being blown out, it sort of like seals it up, but then when it's not blowing out, it sort of like lets it hang down. So I don't know what the hell that's for, but I was missing one of them, and then the other one is pretty badly torn and screwed up. So I am just going to maybe go to Michael's, see if they have just like rubber or something along the lines of something like that's similar like weight and malleability that I can actually go and like recreate it somehow. Because uh, if I'm in here and doing all this stuff, I might as well fix as much as I can. So, hopefully this cable will loosen up and I won't have to go find a new one. It's this thing, by the way. This little flap I was telling you about. Um, what allows it to sort of like seal up very nicely is that it, there's... Well, this one's broken, so that's one thing. And the other thing is that it looks like there's like a relief cut right there. Um... That allows it just that allows just air to do what it needs to do. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna recreate this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. All right, successful shopping trip. So I got some weather seal. Um, that's gonna help with sealing the box itself that's good and i found these guys that i am hopefully going to whoa that i'm hopefully going to use to repair the flaps that go let me make some room here oh god messy 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 workspace that go right there um so yeah these guys I'm going to hold in place just with zip ties and those little holes right there. Uh, and I think out of all these three, so I have a one piece of felt here that's got a harder back that I think would work just fine. I have felt without a hard back that's very, very flimsy. And I have what I think is the best is it's basically a two millimeter foam pad. And Michael's is the shit 
And it's very, very, I'm very, very lucky that I have a wife that is a cereal crafter. Otherwise, I wouldn't know where to find this stuff. But this is awesome. It's a little foam pad, three and up. I think I should be okay. Ages three and over. So I'm going to cut out the rough shape here. Turn this guy on and see if it does what kind of what it's supposed to do. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're good. Um, considering that the fan rotates this way, this one closes. But I don't know what the fuck this one does, but I put it on there anyways. Um, but yeah, watch me work. It's only going to close a little bit with the low, so I'll just put it on high. I'll show you how it all works together. There you go. We have flaps. So I just gotta cut those guys off. So that's cool. So yeah, the foam was definitely the best way to go. Uh, this stuff was too fragile, couldn't cut. I didn't even try with this, but whatever. It's done. I have flaps now. And the world is better for it. One, two. Cool, we good. Uh, all right, up next is the weather stripping. Alrighty, the box is back together. Weather stripping in place, right orientation. Um, let's just see if it still doesn't make noise. Let's make sure it sounds okay first. I honestly think that's just the motor working. Yeah, I'm gonna chalk that up to the motor. Just making noises whirring around. Cool. Now what? Now, freaking, yeah, now the, uh, the attention goes back. To the cables so let me set that up alrighty so I'm putting the flaps back in and I realize that there's something weird going on here they used to have something on the inside where it uh, seals to there used to be something here now what it was I do not know I don't know if it was like thick ass weather stripping like this which I doubt could be though uh, or if it was something a little bit more along the lines of our stuff like this. Where it just had something there, just to sort of quiet, quiet it up a little bit. I actually don't know. Let me look that up real quick. See maybe what I can surmise from this. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and assume something. Considering that when we put this in here and we close it, there's a gap right there. I'm going to assume that there is some weather stripping that goes on the ends of that. But as far as what goes in the actual door, it's like the this part, the flat part of it itself. I don't know. There's obviously something there. Maybe just some fabric just to basically deaden it a little bit. There's definitely some, uh, like there's a gap that exists, so I'm going to put some weather stripping on the edges of this, and then probably just, um, I don't know, we'll try the weather stripping first and see what happens. Okay, so, got some little felt, or not felt, rubber parts on there, adhesived in, so we're good on that, so now we need to start putting it all back together. Now there is a specific way to do it. Um, there's little guide holes at the bottom here. That you gotta find. And it's easier when you have light. Oh shit! One hand, two hands. You gotta be able to find it. There we go. And then pop that bad boy in there. That's one. We'll go do the second one now. Yeah, that's much better. 
Second one. Got it. Cool. Oops, hang on. Okay, got it. All right, that's in there, that's in there. Now we just try and keep that together while we put this on. And it just slides over the top like so. Am I forgetting anything? Hope not. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. So this one's the loosest, so I think I'll start with you. Rubber gasket goes in the hole. Down in the groove. It take a lot of convincing to get in there, but I think we can do it. I can be pretty convincing. All right, that's half of it. Oh. All right, let's see. Almost there. Oops. Okay, almost there. I think that's all of that. Cool. Check, make sure it's still on track. It is. one's gone. Uh, and then the opposite. Same thing on the opposite side. Okay, in there. don't want to use my screwdriver and I'll just punch a hole in it but if I have to god damn it I will just move you out of the way I can push you down why don't you want to go to your home man all right a little bit of help with the pocket screwdriver a little bit of lube Um, all right, let me just put these clips on. Get this guy sealed up. Only came with three, so that's all I'm going to use. So be it. Okay. And then the seal, I'm going to put some of this gasket stuff all in there. Just make sure it gets held in place correctly. Uh, okay, so now it is time for the cables. And I'm pretty sure it went like this. This is the one that stunk. This is the one that didn't stink. This one do didn't stink first. There's a channel for it right there. Okay. And I have you. That's how that works. Cool. Yep, popped off. 
Kia. Hmm. There's definitely a certain way to do this. I'll be damned if I know what it is. Oops. Huh. Uh, this doesn't have a mag magnetic tip. Okay, got it. Yep, I got it. that one now let's do well actually let me test that first cool let's do the bad one hopefully no longer bad one hopefully now the best one the one that makes all the other ones look like shit let's try you out buddy One, two, that goes back there. Alrighty, bad one. Let's see if you're still bad. Yep. You're still bad. Oh, no, the track's messed up. Uh-oh. This track got screwed up somehow. Right there, it's off track. Will there we go. Okay, now we're back on track, literally. But why does this one want to pull it up like that? It's weird. Huh. That's a new problem. Interesting. I think there's some tension here. But anyways, um, then these little C-clips go on there. And that's game. That is restoring an airbox. Um, let's turn it on, I guess. See how it sounds. Hope it doesn't sound like crap and I have to redo all this stuff. That would be very, very shitty. Cool. 
Sweet. Um, I'm gonna call that one done. I gotta figure out what's going on with the with the track on this one, but calling it. That's a restored air box. Um, thanks for watching.